Okay, Joe. You want the dog's blood? Dog's blood it is. No, this looks um. Not very ox bloodish, but second and then maybe possibly toward coat will get it to the consistency of the shade that you're um, that you're looking for. Anyway, we're using we're using two mil. Veg tanned leather two mil veg tanned and the reason why we're using two mil is because of the thickness of the journal being eleven to twelve millimeters thick we're using a lighter gauge leather that it folds around it folds around the spine if we use the heavier gauge um, 3 to 4 mil 3 to 4 mil leather it just wouldn't I tried it out previous and it just doesn't fold around um, it just doesn't fold around now, there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it and after time it does but it just doesn't have the um, it just doesn't do it for me. So anyway, I'm washing the dye on here. Um, it's it's going on. This ox blood reminds me of um, a pair of Doc Martin boots. Never had the ox blood ones myself. So I just had the black. I was never mad enough to have ox blood boots. Not sure it is what it is. trying to do is I'm gonna give this just the one coat and tomorrow I'm trying to get a consistent one coat all over and tomorrow I'll come back and I'll hit it up again and that'll even it all out and it's fairly saturated with a dye there because Oh, you can see that on the. It's actually sitting on top of it. Although it is sinking in, it's not just. As soon as the dye hits it, it falls straight into the leather. It's kind of sitting there. Slowly, it's falling down into the leather. Yeah. So. More than enough on that. More than enough on that until 
tomorrow. There's more than enough still on the sponge. Okay, mate. Have a good one.